Essential oils contain a complex amalgamation of natural compounds which determines their fragrance and therapeutic properties. Like all living matter, essential oils contain chemical compounds made up of oxygen, carbon, and hydrogen, which together create a synergy of different constituents that endow them with antibacterial, antiviral, antifungal, and antiseptic properties. Now, the average essential oil contains about 100 to 300 components, along with thousands of other trace compounds that have yet to be identified by scientists. Now, attempts have been made to single out and synthetically duplicate identifiable components, but nature far exceeds laboratory efforts and continues to remain mostly a mystery in their unique makeup. In fact, the specific chemistry of an individual essential oil is influenced by such diverse range of factors that it's impossible to synthetically recreate its components in a laboratory. The chemistry composition of an essential oil can be affected by its climatic conditions, pollutant exposure, extraction method and process, and other factors that can influence its aroma and therapeutic properties. Understanding the components of an essential oil can help you to assess its suitability for treating a specific condition. For example, to treat inflammation, it's helpful to use oils that contain azoline or bisabol oil, as these have recognizable anti-inflammatory qualities. Determining the chemistry of an essential oil is therefore vital when creating an aromatherapy blend. This knowledge is going to help you to devise a treatment plan, for example, whether you want to use something very strong for a short-term treatment or something milder for a treatment that's used over a longer period. Certain chemicals are suited for working in different ways. So it's important to realize that aromatherapy is not purely based on the chemical analysis. Essential oils are intricate and are not a simple product of their basic ingredients. For instance, geranium is known to have certain qualities that cannot be explained by its known chemical ingredients. But the overall synergy of the constituents is what ultimately determines an essential oil's unique character. So while we're studying the essential oil components, it's important and very imperative to consider the oil as a whole. Some chemicals may be responsible for a very small or tiny percentage of the oil's composition, yet plays a very important part and a very large part of its unique character. A good example of this is B. damascanol, which makes up 0.14% of rose essential oil, but it's responsible for its distinct rose fragrance. And you'll also find that when you're considering the potential contraindications of using an essential oil, it's really necessary to consider its ingredients as part of the overall blend. Now, scientific tests have shown that skin sensitizing aldehydes can be neutralized when you're balancing your blend with other chemicals in an essential oil. It's important to remember that when you're creating an essential oil blend, that the oils that you're introducing into this blend is adding to the complexity of the chemical makeup and they are together combined creating a new formula. And so we're hoping that these oils that you choose will in fact enhance the effectiveness of the individual oils.